Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about part 2 of diseases of nasal septum. There are four main diseases of nasal septum, namely deviated nasal septum or DNS, septal hematoma, septal abscess and septal perforation. DNS has been discussed in part 1 of the video. You can also check this out. In this video, we are mainly going to discuss about other three conditions. So let's get started with the septal hematoma. Septal hematoma is basically a collection of blood under the perichondrium or periosteum of the nasal septum. The main cause of septal hematoma like that of the DNS is trauma to the nose or it can occur due to the septal surgery. In bleeding disorders, it may occur spontaneously. The symptoms indicative of septal hematoma include bilateral nasal obstruction, frontal headache and a sense of pressure over the nasal bridge. While the signs indicative of septal hematoma include a rounded swelling of the septum in both nasal fossae and soft and fluctuant mass on palpation. Let's look at the treatment options available for septal hematoma. Small hematoma can be aspirated using a wide pore sterile needle while large hematomas can be incised and drained and following drainage nose is packed on both sides to prevent re-accumulation. Systemic antibiotics should be given to prevent the formation of septal abscess. The complications of septal hematoma if not drained include permanent thickening of the septum. If a secondary infection occurs it results in the formation of septal abscess with necrosis of cartilage and a depression of a nasal dorsum. Let's discuss an exam question related to the septal hematoma. A 7 years old boy got injury on nose followed by epistaxis. Epistaxis stopped after few minutes. Two hours later, child started complaining of complete nasal blockage. ENT surgeon noticed bilateral smooth reddish fluctuant swelling related to the nasal septum. What is the diagnosis? Let's notice the key points in this scenario which are going to help us in making the diagnosis. The boy got injury on nose. So the first key point is history of trauma to the nose followed by epistaxis. Epistaxis stopped after few minutes. Two hours later, child started complaining of complete nasal blockage, which is the second key point. Then the third and main key point, which is indicative of septal hematoma, include bilateral smooth reddish fluctuant swelling related to the nasal septum. So the diagnosis is septal hematoma. Let's discuss septal abscess. Septal abscess is collection of purulent material between the cartilaginous or bony septum and the mucoperichondrium or the mucoperiosteum. The main causes include secondary infection of the septal hematoma, feruncle of nose or upper lip, and acute infection such as typhoid or measles. Clinical features indicative of septal abscess include bilateral nasal obstruction, severe pain and tenderness over nasal bridge and high grade fever due to infection, also enlarged submandibular lymph nodes. Let's look at the treatment options for septal abscess. It should be incised and drained as early as possible. Incision is made in the most dependent part of the abscess and a piece of septal mucosa is excised. Pus and necrosed pieces of cartilage are removed by suction. Incision may require to be reopened daily for 2-3 to three days to drain any pus or to remove any necrosed pieces of cartilage. Also the second option is systemic antibiotics which should be started as soon as the diagnosis has been made and should be continued for at least a period of 10 days. There are two types of complications of septal abscess if not treated properly. They are the cosmetic and intracranial complications. 
द कॉस्मेटिक कॉम्प्लिकेशन इंक्लूड डिप्रेशन ऑफ द कार्टिलेजिनस डॉर्सम ड्यू टू द नेक्रोसिस ऑफ द कार्टिलेज इन द सुपरा टिप एरिया एंड इट मे रिक्वायर ऑगमेंटेशन राइनो प्लास्टी टू टू थ्री मंथस लेटर इंट्राक्रेनल कॉम्प्लिकेशन ड्यू टू द स्प्रेड ऑफ इन्फेक्शन इंक्लूड मेनिजाइटस एंड केवरनस साइनस थ्रोम्बोसिस लेट्स डिस्कस द सेप्टल परफोरेशन विच इज द लास्ट कंडीशन सेप्टल परफोरेशन इज अ होल और अ फिशर इन द नेजल सेप्टम नाउ लुक एट द कॉजेज ऑफ सेप्टल परफोरेशन इन डिटेल नंबर वन इज द ट्रोमैटिक परफोरेशन Trauma is the most common cause and it occurs during the surgical procedures or due to the habitual nose picking. Next pathological perforations which are caused by septal abscess, nasal meiosis which is basically infestation of nose by insect larvae, rhinolith meaning stones in the nose, Wegener's granuloma which is a midline destructive lesion causing total septal perforation and granulomatous conditions including lupus tuberculosis and leprosy causing perforation in the cartilaginous parts while the syphilis causing perforation in the bony parts of the nasal septum the third cause of perforation include the use of drugs and chemicals like cocaine addiction steroid use and occupational exposure to arsenic chromium salts and sodium bicarbonate also many cases of septal perforation are idiopathic having no known etiology the clinical features indicative of septal perforation are whistling sound during inspiration or expiration in cases of small perforations while larger perforations develop crus the treatment options include plastic flaps for small anterior perforations septal button for closure of large perforations and total septal perforation repair using a pericranial flap that's all about the diseases of nasal septum i hope you liked the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more updates share it with your friends and leave a comment below for any suggestions thanks for watching